Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's continue talking about transforming the plant cells, how we can transform them. Uh, in today's, uh, in this lesson, we will talk about how we can transform plant cells by using TA plasmid. So, as we discussed before, TA plasmids are found in agrobacterium tumefaciens. TA stands for tumor inducing plasmids. They have genes which can be transferred to plants and they cause some kind of tumor. Uh, those genes can be replaced by our gene of interest and uh, the, our gene of interest can thus be transferred in the plants. Transformation by the TA plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens suffers from a few disadvantages as compared to other mechanisms of plant, plant transformation. Both come as disadvantage as compared to other methods that are used to transform plant cells. The disadvantage of this is that this TA plasmid of, tumor, uh, of agrobacterium tumefaciens it is not able to uh, infect a lot of different uh, cereal crops. However, as we discussed before, uh, this can be trained, this can be enhanced, this can be expanded so that its host range can grow. It can grow in different plants and grow in different plants and transfer this gene. So, this is a major hurdle which is being addressed uh, by the scientists worldwide. Now, how it operates? Uh, we will obviously talk about wild type plasmid, TA plasmid, uh, which is without any uh, mutations, which is a natural form. So, wild type plasmid contains genes which causes the transfer of a piece of DNA, tDNA. The TA plasmid has a lot of genes which proteins produce proteins that help a piece of DNA transfer in the plant cell, that piece of DNA is called tDNA. When it is transferred into the cell, in the plant cell mein jab jata hai, it causes <coughs> crown gall disease, which is kind of a tumor. Uh, this piece of DNA, which is tDNA, which shifts, which moves in the plants, uh, that contains 24 base pair direct repeats uh, on its both ends. This is the ends of direct repeats, which is 24 base pair each. Hota hai. Uh, again, these are direct repeats, not inverted repeats. These genes can, may be cut out and replaced by the DNA containing the gene of choice to be introduced into the plant. As we can see, that these genes, these tDNA, uh, move over in the plant cell, and both sari TA plasmids' ki genes and their proteins help to move move karne mein. If we replace this tDNA with our DNA of interest, so these sari proteins tDNA ko move karne ke bajaye, our DNA hai, jo humne replace kiya hai, usko tDNA dega, usko move kar denge plants mein. So this is how uh, we can exploit this system and uh, move our gene of interest in the plants by using this system. You can see here in this diagram that this is a TA plasmid. It is carrying so many different genes. And this is the tDNA which is transferred in the plant. How it is transferred? It's a strand banta hai complementary. And that strand is transferred in the plant cell. And then it is integrated into the host genome, plant genome. So, if we replace this DNA with our DNA of interest, so this is where our DNA will go to the plant and will go to the plant genome and will integrate by recombination. However, uh, obviously, as with any other experiment, 100% uh, efficient results are not available. So, uh, in plants, in bacteria, it was easy that we could use so many different marker genes and maybe so many different reporter genes to find out that our uh, experiment is cloning. Ka, uh, genetic engineering, how did it go, 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 but still uh, there are so many uh, traits of plants that can be used uh, as a marker to follow the experiment. Uh, for example, mostly the genes used are weed killer or antibiotic resistance genes in plants. We can see how efficient it is in our process of gene cloning uh, transformation of plants. Genes usually introduced are more successful on a second TA plasmid during a co-infection with agrobacterium. If you want to enhance it, then co-infection can be done with agrobacterium. It is more efficient result aate hai, as you can see here. Why so? Because you may like uh, to have two proteins going into plants at the same time. Other selected genes are also introduced into the plasmids to ensure that the growth is only possible if all the desired elements are present in the cell. So, uh, you can uh, make combination of different plasmids, uh, maybe TA plasmids, and you can uh, uh, make those plasmids recombinant with respect of different genes. Uh, so that uh, uh, you may uh, want that as much as my gene of interest is, they will reside in a different vector, but they will transform one with one, co-infection, and you will get better results. 
Uh, there are so many different protocols available for transformation of plants by using TA plasmids, and there are so many different um, ideas that can, uh, that are used that utilize the TA plasmids for the transformation of plants. And so much work is still going on. This was about how we can transform plants by using TA plasmids.